Professor, uh, why is it so important to study uh, black holes? Well, uh, black holes are totally different from any other object you can have, to have in the universe. And um, it so happens that when you try to apply the known textbook laws of physics to black holes, we get into contradictions. And this means that there's something that we do wrong, or more precisely, there's something we don't know about the laws of nature. So this is ideally the kind of questions that theoreticians would like to deal with, because it, it tells us that there's something we are doing wrong about, about the world, about the particles, about the forces, and uh, uh, the rules that these forces obey. And the question is, what are we doing wrong? So if we get better answers to these questions, uh, history tells us that very often that leads to other better answers to other questions, and this might cause an avalanche of new understanding, understood things which were not understood before. So I think it's very important to study uh, situations in the physical world where standard theories are somehow not giving uh, correct or consistent answers, and that's the case for black holes. Mm -hmm. And how can black holes help us in the search for a theory of everything? It's part of the game that, um, uh, that when you ask questions where, of which the only, uh, only correct answers are different from the standard theories, then we are forced to sharpen our standard theories. The standard theory is not wrong because they're shown to be extremely cons uh, successful, but we think that there should be better answers. And uh, if you can realize a situation that we get better answers to this question, then suddenly we get better answers to other questions as well, that this might lead to a completely new uh, frame of mind for the theories uh, to be formulated in, that uh, we might get a, a, a totally, a, in total, a better view of things. Whether it will lead to the theory of everything is probably as yet too much to ask, because I think that the universe is extremely complex and that to get everything right will take many decades or, or centuries of work that, uh, of which we have no good impression about how long it will take. But uh, the idea that the theory of all particles and all forces uh, could be determined by solving questions of the sort we are asking is very realistic. It has been like this for a long time in history, that when you ask nasty and sharp questions, as sharp as you can make them, then uh, you may lead, these may lead you to new answers, and those answers will give you a sharper image of the world that you are studying. And if our images are sufficiently smart, maybe we'll guess the right equations. That's a big maybe. Maybe we'll never guess the right equations. That is a possibility that uh, may well be true. But we want to make progress. And uh, progress is only obtained by, by being very precise. Mm -hmm. And what, what would be uh, the next step? Uh, what would you like to, to discover now? Well, I'd like to discover basically new principles, new equations, new symmetries, new uh, transformation laws that are relevant at the scale of uh, where the, uh, the tiniest black holes interact with other particles. The tinier a black hole is, the more energetic the particles are in with which it does very strange things. It, it absorbs and emits those particles. And um, uh, this absorption and emission process should be made self-consistent. Today what you have are equations which are not self-consistent. Therefore, there's something fundamentally wrong about them. So improving that will make things do uh, uh, work more precisely. This is what I'm after. This is what I want to obtain, a more precise theory for black holes. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you.